Is gonna get you. He's gonna turn into a bat. Ah! Oh, these 3D glasses. I thought that bat was gonna fly right in my head. Get caught in my hair, flap on my forehead. The only one brave enough is your mom to take it off. Get off my son. Moms are tough. That's who you get when you're scared. You never run home and get your dad. You get your mom. Look out! He's getting his mom. She killed a monster last week. She's the one to watch out for. Moms are tough. Huh? Back to the show. Let's see if I can survive another attack from the wild bat of Borneo. Mm. 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 Ah! I was born into a big family, and for the first few years of my life, it was bliss. A big family meant plenty of company, an abundance of playmates, and lots of presents on my birthday. When I turned four, however, I discovered that big families had a downside. Older brothers. I had three older brothers who felt it was their duty to keep me in a permanent state of fear. Well, you don't want to go down there, Louie. Why not? That's where the Wisconsin Snow Grizzly lives. You know what he eats? Little kids named Louie! <laughs> Good thing I'm up here, then. Oh, its arms could reach you if it wanted. I wouldn't go to sleep tonight if I were you. I hear he's really hungry. Oh! They convinced me that the Wisconsin Snow Grizzly lived in our basement. For years, I refused to go down there. Until I got a little older and a little smarter. And a little brother. Hey, Tommy, come here. Why? I was going to tell you. What? No, 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 no. Mom, was I adopted from a frog face family? Of course not, dear. Louie. Oh, you think she'd tell you? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. For three and a half years, I spent every waking moment devising new ways to scare my little brother. And then one cold December day, all that changed. All right, is... The very last episode of Night Sniffer, Dog of Justice, was going to be on TV that night. Nothing was going to prevent me from Wait watching that show. Don't touch that dial. Don't leave the room. Don't even blink. Coming up next, the season finale of Night Sniffer, Dog of Justice. I'd engineered an intricate master plan. Hey, Louis, what are you watching? Night Sniffer, Dog of Justice, final episode. Wow, can I watch? No, it's a private screening. Can't too, it's a free country. My plan was working out perfectly. I covered every angle. Louie, Tommy, grab your coat. <laughs> Except one. We're going to Grandma's. Why do we have to go? Because we love her. Grandma's got a touch of the flu. We're going to make her some dinner. Little company will do her some good. What your mother means is misery loves company, and I'm going to be miserable and have some company, too. Andy. Ah! Careful, it's hot. It was time to change the intricate master plan. Wait a minute. You shouldn't bring Tommy to a sick person's house. He's weak. I'm not. He gets the flu just like that. Nice try there, sport. <laughs> but no dice. Remember last time he got sick, Dad? I told you I could eat a whole stick of butter. Ugh! Chunks all over the back seat of the Rambler. You were really mad. Hmm. Yeah, the kid's got a point. Tommy had chili and grape juice for lunch. Imagine that collage on your back seat. Yeah, you think the boy should stay here, honey? I don't know, Andy. Come on, we just got that smell out from the last time. That stuff stains. Bye. Oh, I don't know about this, Sandy. It's starting to snow. What are you talking about? I see two flakes. I see three. Now, Laura's going to make dinner for you. Well, that'd be a treat. And we should be back in a couple of hours. Give 
Grandma a kiss for me. Me too. Oh, yeah. I'll be sure to do that right after I massage her bent seat. I left emergency phone numbers on the refrigerator. Bye. Bye. See you later. See you later. Oh, Bye. Oh, I play that lock picture in the South Sea. Take your shoes off her. Oh, and the disposal is out of bounds. Why don't you just read them our wills? Now let's get the heck out of here before I blow. Get worrying, would ya? When I was five years old, I already had my own house and three jobs. Now that Mom and Dad were gone, Don't make me my brothers and sisters again. assume full responsibility. Rise, See you later, guys. Look, if Mom and Dad call, don't tell them I left. Who's gonna make us dinner? Danny can make you dinner. Bye, Louie. I'm out of here. Carol will make you dinner. Hey, where's everyone going? Hope you had a big lunch. You can afford to skip a meal, Louie. At yeah, least we'd be able to watch Night Sniffer in peace and quiet. The only problem was the snowfall outside. It was turning it's into a blizzard and wrecking our reception. Fortunately, I had a special blizzard antenna. A little, a little loud. No, you're loud. A little more. Okay, now up a little higher. This isn't fun. I can't see. Okay, there's the sniffer. No way. There are two sniffers. Tommy! My arm's getting tired. While I was dealing with the whiny antenna, Dad was having his own set of problems. All right, let's get this over with. How you doing there, Granny? Got a little bug? A little under the weather? Uh, here you go. Here's some soup and some tissues. Here's some cough medicine. Hey, that's a spirit, honey. You're looking better already. <laughs> All right, dear, let's get out of here. Andy, aren't you too sweet to come visit an old lady? <laughs> oh, come over here and give your mama a kiss. How about a nice little wave, Grandma? That good enough for you? Oh, Andy, don't be such a baby. Mm. Mama, how are you feeling? Well... Uh, now that you ask me, my nose is running like the Amazon. My breakfast keeps coming back on me, and my head's full. Uh, okay, thanks for sharing that, Grandma. Uh, more than I needed to know. If anyone needs me, I'll just be in the other room upwind from all this uh, germology. Give it your best shot. Uh. Parents, the frog faces, they'll jump over here and pick you right up. I can't feel my arm anymore. There's only ten more minutes. Is this the end of Night Snipper? Does the dog of justice bark no more? Oh, Tommy! What'd you do? Nothing. Look, the whole town's going out. Great. You broke the whole town. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm hungry. Me too. Hey, what looks good? I don't know. What's that? That's tongue. Tongue? People eat that? Yeah, it's a real delicacy. Hey, remember Mr. Holleran? The janitor who died last year? It's his tongue. Mom saved it. Gross. What about that one? Rump roast. Oh, man, you don't even want to know the story behind that one. Hey, look. Pizza. Oh, right. Solid. With no electricity in the house, we were forced to improvise. Yeah, not you too. Andy, can I get a glass of water? Sure you can. Sink's right over here. The big hole in the counter? Recognize it? Andy? What I meant, of course, is coming right up there, Grandma. <laughs> Sweet thing, yeah. Not the tap water, please. Out of the bottle. Can't get through, huh? Well, that's where we should go. Well, we have to wait until it stops snowing. There's a blizzard out. What? You mean this, Flurry? I used to sunbathe in this kind of weather when I pulled tundra duty at the ice station Zebra. Twelve full ounces, Andy. Well, that may be so, Andy, but I still don't know how you think we're going to get home unless you're planning to get out there and shovel the interstate. Andy, don't skimp on the ice, please. Yeah, I'd like to hit her in the head with a block of ice. Andy. I'm coming right up there, Grandma. Can't wait to give it to you, Grandma. Uh, I told you not to kiss the old buzzard. See, 
say she's giving away germs like they're candy on Halloween. Jeez, at least cover up the soup, huh? I think it's done. I was feeling pretty mature, pretty responsible. Everything was under control. All right! Do you really think we should be eating in Dad's bed? Well, yeah, why not? I'm not gonna get pizza all over my bed. What was that? Probably just icicles falling in the driveway. Probably just icicles falling on the roof. Hmm. Icicles in the basement? It's my real parents, the frog faces. They've come back for me. No, it's not. How do you know? Because I made up the story about your real parents. It's not even true. Then what's that in the basement? The Wisconsin Snow Grizzly. I don't believe you. It's the frog faces. The Wisconsin Snow Grizzly. Frog faces. Snow Grizzly. Prove it. All right, then. As a result of the dumbest argument I ever had in my life, I had no choice. I had to visit the lair of the Wisconsin Snow Grizzly. Are you scared, Louie? Of course not. Hold down there. Gotta insulate myself. Want me to get frostbite or something? We could wait for Danny or Laura to come home. Forget it. I'm in charge here. I'll handle this. Whoever's in the basement better look out. I'm coming down. Yeah, and he's got a plunger, too. Thanks. That'll scare him if they're a toilet. All right, out of my way here. Uh, if there's anything scary down here, do you mind hiding until I leave? Oh, that shouldn't be open. Hey, I've been looking for this. Uh, oh, you can keep it. I don't even want the thing. It's not funny. Louie, I'm not scared. Uh, who's there? Jeez, quit making so much noise. Don't worry, Tommy. Just a... I'm not scared. You hear me? Not scared. Ah. Thank you, Grandma. I won't have to wash up for dinner. Andy, can I have a tissue, please? Well, why not use my sleeve? Another one, please. Another. Just one more, please. Andy, is there any more water in the bag? Andy, could you pass the aspirin? Uh, could someone pass me the ammunition? Andy, this water's too hot. Andy, this soup's too cold. Andy. All right, enough is enough. You're driving me nuts. Well, Andy, we're sick. You're telling me. If anyone needs me, I'll be out in the blizzard where I can get some peace and quiet. What's he doing out there? Well, he's got a shovel. Yeah. He's shoveling the front walk. Oh. Oh, now he's shoveling the driveway. Oh, not that sweet. Oh, and now he's shoveling the on-ramp to Interstate 295. Oh, my. <laughs> he's digging out to the tool booth. Well, I'm a son of a gun. I guess it's time to go. Sorry about that, Louie. Didn't mean to scare you. Yes, you did. What are you guys doing here? Well, when the power went out, we came by to see if you guys were all right. Well, why are you in my basement? Oh, that was Grunwald's idea. He wanted to try and scare you. Wait a minute. You just said you didn't mean to scare me. Sue me. Well, it didn't work. I wasn't scared. You fainted. Fooled you. I was taking a short nap. A method napper, you know. Well, where's the rest of your family? Hey, I gotta go tell Tommy everything's okay down here. It was nothing, Tommy. Here's a visit from a welcome wagon. Tommy! Did you lose your brother, Louie? Wow, your family's dropping like flies. Where the heck is he? Tommy, this is no time to play hide-and-seek. Now, come on. Tommy! Tommy, are you in here? Tommy? Are you in here? His coat's gone! Tommy! 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 Where are you? Tommy! I think he went into the woods. But that's where the Wisconsin Snow Grizzly lives. What? Everyone knows that. Come on, let's go. No way. That thing will rip you to pieces. I can't believe you guys. The Wisconsin Snow Grizzly doesn't exist. Bigfoot ate him years ago. Well, I don't see you rushing into the woods. I would, Louie. 
But he's not my brother. Whoever's related to him is supposed to go in first. Grunwald's right. That's the rule. All right. I'm going in. If I'm not back in an hour, call the cops. Wait, Louie. I don't think you have to go. What do you mean? Look. Tommy? Well, my work's done here. Oh, yeah, right. Nice going, Tonto. Dad should fix this thing. Crawl underneath it. Tommy? What do you want? What are you doing out here? I ran away. To the garage? I'm waiting till it stops snowing. Then I'm going to Cleveland or Spain or something. Well, why'd you run away? You scared me. I didn't mean to. It was Grunwald down in the basement, you know. He scared me. I fainted. Was it Grunwald last week hiding in my closet? Was it Grunwald who told me I was adopted? Did Grunwald pop out of the clothes hamper when I was in the bathtub? No, but, well, I'm your older brother, and it's in my job description. My brother scared me, and I get to scare you. Well, who do I get to scare? I'm the youngest. The Morrisons down the street just had a baby. Maybe you can scare him. He's just a baby. Never stop me. When you were a baby, I had your booties bronze while they were still on your feet. Tell you what, I won't scare you anymore. And you can practice scaring me until the Morrison's baby gets older. Deal? Oh, all right. Hey, Louie, right behind you. It's the Wisconsin Snow Grizzly. You gotta put more feeling into it. I'm serious. That's better. I'm serious. Good, now you got it. Louie! Come on, there's nothing there. See? Nothing. It's a snow squirrel! Hey, get off my skin! Thanks, Dad. Taught him a thing or two about messing with an Anderson. Oh, Andy, it was just a squirrel. Don't be so sure there, good looking. That looked like one of those killer squirrels you keep hearing about. Oh. And that's how Dad saved us from the killer snow squirrel. In our family, stories had a way of mutating every time Dad told them. So, by the next Thanksgiving... See? Nothing! Get it off! Kill a raccoon! Hey, get off my head! Help me! Man, <laughs> maybe a raccoon record. <laughs> Wait a good go, Dad! Five Thanksgivings later... <laughs> Those are my kids! Get your own! Tone the bison shuffle! Aim to you, buddy. Ah, ah, bad bison. Very bad bison. And a full decade later, the story reached its final incarnation. Just snow grizzly, get him! <laughs> you gotta try a little harder than that, fur bomb. I've been mauled by bigger bears than you. Oh, look out! Uh, I got you in a headlock, eh? Huh? Say you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Nice going, Dad. Taught him a thing or two about wrestling a military man. When I was stationed on the Siberian front, I was wrestling Russian bears for spending money. Five rubles a bear skin. I was making about 25 bucks a day. Aren't you scared? Are you kidding? I just spent 17 straight hours with your grandmother. You think a little teddy bear's gonna scare me? Oh, we missed you guys. Of course, all versions of the story had the same end. Sorry. No hugging the sick lady. She's contagious. Got it from her mother, old typhoid granny. <laughs> Fine. Hug away. Go wild. We're all goners now anyway. I'm so happy to see my boys. Uh, what a world. It finally stopped snowing. The power came back on, and the rest of my brothers and sisters returned home. Tommy! Tommy! You asleep? Not anymore. I got something for you. Happy birthday. Yeah, right. This is not my birthday. Well, I'm planning on forgetting your birthday. I can do that. I'm your older brother. It's right in the job description. Thanks. Hey, Louie, you think there's a real Wisconsin snow grizzly out there? Now, I know I promised Tommy not to scare him anymore. No, probably not. How do you know? Because the real Wisconsin snow grizzly is hiding under your bed. Yeah, right. Hey, 
It's in the job description. Pleasant dreams, Thomasina.